Tools and Materials for Germination Test A clean workspace, well lit but away from an open window or fan Metal tweezers or forceps A stopwatch or timer Scissors Clear plastic petri dishes with lids Small clear plastic bags these should be approximately the size of the petri dishes or slightly larger. A candle. A simple table or spreadsheet for collecting germination data. Seeds to be germinated. And a germination cabinet. See Echo Asia's How to Build a Germination Cabinet video. Note, if you do not have access to all the materials mentioned, be creative. Use a cleaned soda bottle to mix your bleach solution. Use any clean, clear, flat-bottomed container with a lid to hold your seeds. A moist paper towel or cloth in a Ziploc bag may also be used. If you don't have a germination cabinet, place your seeds under a lamp or near a closed window. See the note at the end of this presentation. Things not to do. Never touch the seeds with your bare hands. Always use sterile tweezers or forceps. You may use your cleaned bare hands to touch the outside surfaces of the petri dish, but never touch the inside. If you find you have to touch or move something outside of the sterilized workspace, re-rinse your hands with alcohol after doing so and before touching your tools again. Never let your tweezers or forceps touch the workspace. Rest them on a clean paper towel and dip them in sterile water or alcohol when moving between multiple petri dishes. To avoid outside contaminants, do not prepare materials or seeds before an open window or beneath a fan. Section two, preparing and plating seeds. Number one. First, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water. Dry them with a clean, unused paper towel and finish with an alcohol rinse. Number two, now light your candle. The candle aids in killing microscopic airborne contaminants and helps to prevent contamination of the petri dish and paper towel. Number three, each set of seeds will need to be surface sterilized individually before your germination test begins. Add enough of the 10% bleach solution to immerse a set of seeds completely. Swirl the contents gently to bring the seeds and solution into contact. Let the seeds soak for three to five minutes depending on the type of seed. Smaller seeds with softer coats should be soaked for three minutes, while larger seeds with thicker coats should be soaked for about five minutes. Number four, pour the bleach solution and seeds into a strainer or sieve and then rinse the seeds with at least six changes of distilled or filtered water before placing them in the petri dish. Number five, position the seeds in the petri dish on the paper towel so that they do not touch each other. This should be done as close to the burning candle as possible, as this will help kill any microscopic contaminants like molds or fungi that are airborne and help prevent them from getting into the dishes. Number six, moisten the paper towel with distilled or filtered water. 
It is sometimes easier to moisten the towel before placing the seeds to avoid moving them around accidentally. Avoid oversaturating the towel as this can heighten the occurrence of mold. Number seven. After placing seeds in the Petri dish, put each Petri into a small clear plastic bag. Gently fold the bag around the Petri before putting it into the germination chamber. The germination chamber is helpful because the light mimics natural growing conditions. This will help keep the inside of the Petri moist and reduce air transfer and contaminated air. Number eight, make sure the timer for the germination cabinet is set to 20 minute intervals to mimic conditions in nature and plugged into an electrical source. Section three, checking for germination. Number one, leave Petri dishes in the cabinet overnight. The following day, remove the Petri dishes to check for germination. Number two, make sure your workspace and tools have been cleaned according to the mentioned method in section one and relight your candle. Number three, open the Petri dishes one at a time near the candle, holding the lid slightly above the base while you work. Once again, these measures will help reduce airborne contaminants from reaching the moist paper towel surface. Number four, count the number of germinated seeds and note this number on your data collection sheet with the corresponding date. Number five, Promptly remove the germinated seeds or any that may be molding to prevent spread to neighboring seeds. Remove moldy seeds regardless of germination. If the mold is particularly bad, replace the contaminated liner with a fresh piece of paper towel. Number six, follow this procedure every other day after you check for a total of 14 days. Some seeds, like tree seeds, may need longer than 14 days to germinate, in which case, extend your trial accordingly. Number seven, at the end of 14 days, determine the total number of germinated seeds for each seed type on your data collection sheet. Divide this number by the number of seeds originally plated, 20 in this case. This is your percent germination rate. Knowing your percent germination is important when storing seeds for any length of time. It is a good indicator of how well the seeds will grow when planted.